I am pretty sure that many of you have seen this guy. Yes, Doraemon, one of the most popular anime in the world. One of his famous gadgets is Anywhere Door. Just take name of your destination and done, you are there. This effect is partially known as teleportation, but is this phenomenon possible in real life? If yes then how? And what will its impact on our life? From classic definition, teleportation is the hypothetical transfer of matter or energy from one point to another, without traversing the physical space between them. But what does this mean? To teleport something is to disappear and then reappear at a different place. If you could teleport, you wouldn't have to drive a car, fly in a plane, or even walk anywhere, you could simply teleport there. The word is made up of tele, which is Greek for, distance, and French porter for, carry. Teleportation is pretty firmly situated in the realm of science fiction. We may not be able to teleport objects or people from place to place in an instant, but there are scenarios where teleportation can be achieved. Not only is it possible, but it's actually being accomplished in physics labs across the world. There's three different kinds of teleportation. Teleportation through a wormhole, or something similar, where your body is simply relocated to another place. Second one, where your molecules are disassembled, beamed somewhere else, and reassembled in the same way. And the philosophy problem kind where your body is scanned and the information is transmitted somewhere else and used to build an entirely new body out of different materials. It turns out that that scan and reassemble type of teleportation is actually possible thanks to a property of quantum mechanics called, quantum entanglement. Quantum entanglement occurs when two or more particles are forced to hold mutually exclusive states, so determining one simultaneously determines the other. Think of it like ordering takeout at a fast food joint. If you order both a burger and a pizza, you don't know which is which before opening the boxes. But as soon as you open one, you immediately know what's in the other without looking. This is true regardless of how far away the second box is. The same is true of quantum particles. If you have two entangled particles, knowing the state of one will automatically tell you the state of the other as well. And just like with our fast food, this is independent of distance, which means we can use entanglement as our teleportation method. From here, the rest is simple. If we take two particles, entangle them, and send one to the moon, then we can use that property of entanglement to teleport something between them. If we have an object we want to teleport, all we have to do is include that object in the entanglement. The actual process to do that does require a bit of math and some careful setup and observations. Assuming you have enough raw material on the moon where you want to teleport. Of course, teleporting large objects or people is probably not going to happen anytime soon. Keeping particles entangled for a long period of time, over long distances, or along with objects larger than a few atoms is way beyond what current technology is capable of. However, this experiment has been performed multiple times with small particles, and scientists have managed to teleport various electrons, photons, and even entire molecules dozens of miles. Perhaps this same tech will be used to send you or your grandchildren to the moon someday. That's it for now, I hope you learned something new today. To join this journey, explore the subscribe button and hit it. Let's explore all at one spot, thank you.